Okay, so when painting a door, you don't want to do it when it's too hot out or the humidity is too dry. You kind of want to do it in the morning when it's cool. That way the paint's not drying as you're going throughout the door. Because you kind of want to paint the whole door while the whole door is wet. All right, so the first thing I do is just get my roller out. And like I said, I want to paint the whole door at once. I don't want to just work uh, section by section because then you're going to see um, roller marks and you're going to see uh, what we call holiday marks, which is kind of the stop and go marks. It's hard to explain, but if you can just work the whole door at once, you're going to get a better quality finish. Okay, so with that said, I want to get I want to get some paint right across right across the whole door. So, I work fast and I get the paint there. Get the paint everywhere right across the whole right across the whole surface at once. Then roll it in okay so I'm just gonna fast forward through this Okay, so that surface is coated with paint and now continuing continuing to work quickly I'm going to get into all the little crevices with a brush. So the brush that I'm using is called a Wooster Alpha. It's, it's in my opinion it's one of the one of the best brushes out there. Uh, it runs about 25 bucks, but with painting, it's, it's all about having a good brush. Like a lot of people say, oh, you're such a good painter. But in reality, I don't really have any real special painting skills or talents. I'm just, I'm just a guy with a good brush. That's all. Uh, so it's. Get in there, you gotta work real quick. Okay. Okay, so I got all the paint along the crevices. And now I'm just gonna make sure that it's it's clean and there's no there's no little gobs of paint anywhere. Okay, so normally I take these handles off, but I just left it here just to show you how you can cut around it. I think the previous painter left it on too because there's already paint on there. So just like that. See, that's that's the good thing about a, a good brush is that you can just cut really well without much effort or skill on on your part or my part okay okay step the next step is I want when I'm working with a brush I want the strokes to follow the grains so I'm gonna put the brush there and I'm gonna go there and then up and then start there and finish there okay so I'm just gonna fast forward this video through this part There, and 
finally, I do one last pass over the surface. Just because it might seem counterintuitive with painting, but the more paint you get on in a coat, uh, the smoother the job is. See, somebody might think that putting a thin coat right across would make a smoother, a smoother job. And that would seem to make sense. Like I said, it's counterintuitive. It's counterintuitive to put more paint on to make a smoother job. The reason is, is, is uh, paint, when it's put on thick, it has self-leveling properties. Meaning it just kind of smooths itself out as it sits there and dries. That said, you can't just swap it around and expect it to uh, dry into a smooth coat. It's got to be a thick coat, but put on smoothly, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's done. So now the final bit is just to inspect what you've done and just check and make sure that there's no little gobs of paint anywhere. And now's the opportunity to smooth that out. Okay, that looks good. All right, so that's that's how I paint a door. Okay, thanks for watching.